Hi everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trang. If you're new here, hi, welcome, and I'm so glad you found this video. I am a budgeting mom of two and I am currently on my journey to become debt free as well as trying to increase my savings for myself, my kids, and my lifestyle. So if you guys like what you see, make sure you guys subscribe for more videos. And for everyone else, welcome back. I've missed you all. Today's video is going to be another budget with me and a cash stuffing per usual. This is going to be for my fiance's paycheck, so let's go ahead and get started. I have just my notebook right here. We are stuffing a total of 885 and this is like after paying for some portion of bills on his account and this is the amount that's left over. Starting out with 885 minus 613. Okay, so we have $272 left over to work with. So we are going to go through our binders. Sorry if this is a little shaky, you guys. Yeah, I definitely do not have the best tripod. So we have birthdays, bubs, Christmas, emergency, kids' birthdays, kids' savings, regular savings and vacation birthdays will get 10 clubs will get 10 christmas can get 25 emergency can get 20 Kids' birthdays can get 20 and kids' savings 25. Regular savings, which is 25 as well. And vacation is 20. And then that's it for this binder. Family fun, date night, skipping eye care, beauty, and then we have household. Sorry, it's so messy right now. I'm just like all over the place. And then for my wallet, we have groceries, spending we're skipping, gas we're skipping, um, eating out, maybe Starbucks. Okay, $10 here, family fun can get 15 and date night 10. So minus 10, 15, 10. Household, 10, groceries, 50, minus 10, minus 50, we have 22, so $2 for Starbucks and 20 for eating out. So that zeroes out. I'm going to do my denominations really quickly. Birthdays will get 10, Bob's get 10, Christmas gets 25, emergency gets 20, kids birthday gets 20. 25, 25, 20, 10, 15, 10, 10, 50, 20, and 2. So here we have a total of 6, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that should equal to 885. So we have 600 plus 50 plus 140 plus 70 plus 20 plus 5. 885. That's perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to go get the right denominations for this and then be back for the cash stuffing. Okay, so I have my cash ready to go. Let's do a quick count before we start. 
I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 5, 10, 15, 20. And we have some crispy ones. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we have a total of 885 for today's stuffing. I'm going to move it over just a little bit to make some room. Um, I have these bills right here that are super wrinkly, and that's because I did laundry over the weekend. And I did the whole family's laundry, mine, my fiance's, and my kids. And luckily for me, I did find some bills coming out of my fiance's pants. Thank you, buds. Thank you to my fiance um, for my spending money, obviously. Originally, I wanted to just put this into my spending envelope, but I didn't want to be selfish. So I actually included the bills in here. I just swapped out the, the ugly bills and I put better ones out here for the stuffing so this is already included in the stuffing and then this will go back to the bank okay let's go ahead and get started with our bills this is my bills and subscription binder right here i know i have a lot of new people around here so i just want to clarify some things once again um i mentioned this in my previous video but all the bills in here are basically under my account so I like to personally cash stuff because it just gives me a peace of mind knowing that my bills are going to be paid on time and in full. So I have my fiance's rent portion in here as well because once again, every single bill in here is under my name. So this is what I like to do for myself. For my fiance, he has some bills under his um, under his bank account, under his debit card or whatever it is, and he handles that on his own. That's why you don't see some bills in here like car insurance, car payments, or like any of that stuff, or phone bill, because that's under his account. So just wanted to throw that out there that this is my account, my bank account, um, and this is why I cash stuff for certain categories only. Okay, so for his portion of rent, we are putting away $613. We have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, and that's the only bill that he has in here. So we are done with this. Moving on, we have our high priority binder. Before I get a bunch of questions about this binder, this is a Louis Vuitton agenda in the size MM. They have three different sizes, you guys. They have a GM, MM, and a PM. Birthdays will be getting $10. So now birthday has 100, 150, 170, 180, 190. Holy moly, we have 190. Okay, $190, which is more than enough for our reservation at um, a prime rib restaurant for my birthday at the end of the month. So I'm super excited, fully funded. All right, moving on, we have Bubs. We'll be getting $10. So now Bubs has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. All right, Bubs is now all done. Next up for Christmas. Christmas will be getting 25. Okay, Christmas in the bank currently has 500, 600, 700. So that's 700, 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, 820. 840, 860, 870, 875. Okay, so 875 for Christmas. I don't want to deposit this until it hits um, like a total of 1,000. 
and then I'll just use my 1000 placeholder instead of having all these little placeholders. Alright, Christmas is now all done. Next up for emergency fund. Emergency fund will be getting $20. Emergency fund now has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 230. Emergency fund is all done. Next up for kids' birthdays. Kids' birthdays will be getting $20. So kids' birthday currently has 500, 600 in the bank. And now it has 620, 640, 660, 680, 690. $690 for kids' birthdays. My goal is $1,000 by December 1st for Zenith's second birthday. Alright, so that's all done. Next up for kids savings. Kids savings will be getting $25. Kids savings now has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. Alright, kids saving is now all done. Next up for investments, um, I think I'm skipping this. Investments we're skipping and then moving on to savings. This is getting $25, yeah. All right, so savings now has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. I was thinking of depositing this once it hits 100, but I think with this month, because I started a bit earlier, um, it might be over 100, so I might wait until the end of the month to deposit the funds. Savings is done. We're skipping student loans. And then vacation. Vacation will be getting $20. So vacation now has 500, 520, 540, 560. Alright, so our high priority binder is now all done. Moving on, I have my low priority. Kids spending will be getting $10. Kids spending now has 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 440, 460, 470, 480, 485. All right, kids spending is now all done. Moving on to family fun. Family fun will be getting $15. I mentioned in my previous video that um, Luckily, my fiance knows somebody that can help us get some free tickets for Disneyland in October, which I'm really excited about because I love everything Halloween and all the spooky vibe. My daughter and I are obsessed and I cannot wait to bring my kids here. Our passes would be free and we are getting three passes because Zenas is still under two, so he would be getting in for free anyways. I'm like super grateful for this opportunity to just have to save up for like food and any toys they want and stuff like that. So if all goes well, I would love to ask his connection to see if she's able to get more tickets. I mean, she did mention that she gets free tickets all the time. So if that's the case, I would love to do a giveaway and like give away maybe like four tickets to Disneyland if you guys are interested in that, if you guys are from, um, the LA area or if you're not and you would like to make a trip so if you guys are interested in something like that let me know and I'll do my best to get some more information and figure something out for you guys okay so family fund now has 100 120 140 160 180 190 200 205 210 all right family fund is now all done next up for date night Date night will be getting $10. So date night now has 20, 30, 40. 
Day night is now all done. We are skipping eye care. We are, we are skipping beauty. And then for household, this will be getting $10. So household now has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57. All right, household is now all done. These are my saving challenges back here from Emily. And I haven't done these in a while, but I will get back to it when I'm ready. All right, so this is done. I'm gonna grab my wallet. Okay, so groceries will be getting $50, so now has 150 and we are going grocery shopping later today. So we've been just eating at home and cooking at home, so that's why the groceries, it's still full, but we are heading out to go grocery shopping later today, so we should be using most of these, most of the funds. We are skipping gas because he just got gas. Uh, Starbucks is getting the remaining dollar bills. So Starbucks now has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. I definitely want to get Starbucks today before heading out to get some groceries. All right, and then last but not least, we have eating out. Eating out will be getting $20 and it now has 20, 40, 60, 80. All right, eating out is all done. And that's basically it. All right, guys, so that wraps up my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe for more videos. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.